So I'm like, bro, this ain't never getting no top under the stairs, bro. They was like under the stairwell, bro. It was like, I swear to God, bro, the bell rang and the shorty was still down there, bro. I'm like, this is, this is ridiculous. At this point, like, y'all, y'all can't give zero. Y'all cannot care about human life right now. So the dean walked into class and asked for him. He was like, I need him to come right now to my office right now, bro. I peep out the door. I see shorty that was just giving head standing right there. I'm like, bro, you funny as fuck, bro. As soon as I know she make my play. Got so much ice that she can stay. Be rich by nature at this rate. I always knew that I'd be great. If you fine, let's go on day. But if you broke it, bitch, I'm straight. I go from London, call me man. I think my pocket's gaining weight. That's why them niggas starting to hate. Stacking lobster on my plate. My white bitch made it, her name Kate. I put a rose gold ring on all of my bitch. But I can't buy it till I see what she can do in the kitchen. I gotta listen to the city girl. She been acting up. The fact that she think that I give a fuck. Got me cracking up. My baby bad to the bone. She won't never leave me alone. What up, Moolah Gang Gang? Gang, it's your boy Mag Moolah, AK. Hey, Mr. Moolah Mac, a.k.a. Mr. Hide Your Girlfriend, because I will take her, and I'm back with another video. Make sure y'all smash that thumbs up button. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button if you're new. Make sure you leave a like and a comment down below, because it really helps your boy out a lot. Follow your boy on Instagram, and a new song just dropped. It's the song that you heard at the beginning of the video, so go check that out, too. So on Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud, YouTube, um, everything. So go check it out. Yeah. Now let's get into the video. So look, I know y'all read that title, and y'all like, Mac Moolah, what's going on with your crazy life, man? I'ma tell you. I'ma tell you. So look, back in, um, 7th and 8th grade, bro, back in middle school. In middle school, I went to a high school for middle school. If I, I said that before, but I know some people probably don't know So that. I went to a high school for middle school. Because basically, like, you test to get into this little academic center, is what it's called. And, like, basically, like, you go to a high school and you learn, like, high school level classes but you really in seventh and eighth grade type shit so that's what i was doing and th this is just the background information y'all from like first grade to sixth grade bro i had like a's and b's bro like that was the only thing like you feel me i, I never really get too many c's like that you feel me and that's how i got into the school because my grades was cool i tested good all that but shit. when i got to seventh grade and i was in a high school and like it wasn't we didn't have to walk in no single file line no more to go to class like all that we have 100 full freedom bro i'm like bro i'm not going to class bro <laughs> i never really liked school School. And now that I had the freedom to like really do what I wanted to do, kind of, even though I knew I was gonna get my ass pulled when I got home. But like, now that I had the freedom, I was doing whatever, bro. Now that y'all know that, we can get into this, the, this thing. You see? So this was eighth grade. Now, eighth grade, I was already used to the school. I knew everybody, you know what I'm saying? It was a younger class coming up. It was the seventh graders coming up after us. I knew them, you know what I'm saying? I knew a lot of high schoolers. I knew all the teachers. I knew my way around the school, all that shit, right? So it's like my second year. I'm kind of like a sophomore at this point, but I'm still in middle. So it's my second year, bro. Now, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Seventh grade was the first year, and it was it, it was the everything after seventh grade. My grades were actually like they were actually fucked, like like over with, like like no, it wasn't happening, bro. It, and it wasn't because I was stupid. I knew everything these teachers was talking about. I just wasn't doing no homework, bro. It just wasn't happening. I was not gonna go home and do no homework, and I was just a badass little kid. Like I was always skipping class. You feel me? I never did no projects, so I used to have to skip class, be in every lunch room, messing with all the girls, and I was that. So boom, this one day, I think it was like a Friday too, bro. So it's like. You feel me? Like I said, I'm a badass little kid. I don't like school. I don't ever want to be in class no way, right? But I know I got to go to class. At least I got to go to class. You know what I'm saying? Even if I come late as hell. I got to come to class so I don't get my ass whooped too bad. You know what I'm saying? They can't just see me ditch. Plus, I ain't had nowhere to go, man. I ain't had no car. I ain't had no money. We was in the middle of the hood in Chicago. In the middle of Inglewood, bro. Like, I, it wasn't nowhere I could go. And it was after lunch. So eighth grade, I had, I think I had like B lunch or something on, on the schedule, bro. I had B lunch. And the way our school was, we had lunch was 50 minutes. Lunch was 50 minutes in every class period. It was an hour and 40 minutes, bro. So that means we in class for an hour and 40 minutes straight. I never, ever, ever, ever stayed in class the whole time, bro. It did not happen. I was either sneaking out of class, coming in class late as hell, asking to go to the bathroom, and coming back 30 minutes late, like all type of shit, right? So it was just one day, you feel me? I, I think we was in fucking, we was in... Uh. So it was one day, bro. I'm pretty sure we was we was in biology class, bro. I had biology class, eighth grade. So we in biology and shit, right? You know what I'm saying? Regular, regular shit. I'm not paying attention to nothing that's going on. I'm laughing. I'm messing with girls. You know what I'm saying? I'm cracking jokes and shit like that. My regular, regular stuff. But I'm like, you feel me? It's time to get out. This is probably I've probably been like 45 minutes or some shit like that halfway through the class. I'm like, bro, I'm not finna sit here. I don't give a fuck about none of she talking about. I'm not doing this work. I'm tired of talking to these people. I keep getting in trouble because I can't shut up. You feel me? Because this shit is boring to me. So I, I rose my head. I'm like, I gotta go to the bathroom. Teacher said. 
didn't know because she already knew what I was on. So I, you know, I was, I was a bug. Are you feel me? I, I, I got on her nerves a little bit. So she let me go to the bathroom. So she gave me a hall pass and I left the class. Now your boy was never going to the. <laughs> I was never going to the bathroom because I ain't had to pee. I was just walking around the school to see who in the hallway to see what I could get into to see who I could fuck with. Basically, I ended up finding my homie. My homie, he had music. Now, it was a music hall. It was like a whole little hallway, kind of like in a cut of the school, and they had like arts, arts right there. You know what I'm saying? It was like an art class, art studio, and then it was like other little music studios and shit like that. So I go to that part of the school because that's where my homie was finna go, right? And I seen him. So I'm like talking and whatever. We talking about whatever, like the girls on Instagram or some shit like that, right? And he walk in his classroom. But now I'm still by myself. I don't have no plans on going to class. I'm finna go to class like the last five minutes of class. Grab my book bag, get a hall pass back to my teacher and go on by my day. Like, no cap. So that's what I was finna do. So I'm, I'm out in the school. So I done went to the third floor, came back to the second floor, went to the lunchroom, got kicked out because the lunch lady know my period ain't this period and shit. The most shit, bro. Like, a whole bunch of stuff. I'm, I'm dipping, I'm ducking and dodging the dean so I don't get suspended and get in trouble no more and shit. So I, like, Bro, like 10, 15 minutes go by, bro. I go back downstairs towards by the music area. I had to run that way because I heard the dean talking like around the corner. And I had to cut down there and go down the stairs back to my class type shit, right? Because it was getting hot. It was getting hot on the scene, bro. It was getting hot on the block. It was too many deans, security guards. All these niggas knew my schedule. They knew I wasn't supposed to be in the hallway like that. You feel me? So I go downstairs, bro. And like at the corner of my eye as I'm walking down there. Now remember, this is the music hall. Most music classes was at the end of the school, at the end of the day. This was kind of like in the middle of the day. So I go downstairs and it ain't Ain't really no and since, it's, and since it's not a lot of music classes at this time, it ain't a lot of people over here. You feel me? Bro, I swear to God, bro, if I'm I, like, bro, I promise to God, like, no crosses count, bro. I come downstairs at the corner of my eye, I see a girl on her knees, and she like moving. But I don't see no dude. I'm like, what the fuck? But like, you feel me? I'm already knowing what's going on type shit. I ain't stupid. I ain't no dumb kid, you know what I'm saying? I'm eighth grade, but I ain't that dumb. You feel me? I swear to God, bro, I hear like some noises. Like, I ain't gonna make the noises. I'm just gonna use the water bottle. I hear some noises, bro. Like no capping. And I'm I'm looking at this girl like her head moving, bro. <laughs> so what I so what y'all think about goofy ass did, bro? I'm so goofy. I'm like, I can't even like the way I am, bro. I can't even just like see some shit like that and not say nothing. I got a big ass mouth. It's just me. You feel me? So I'm like, bro, this nigga ain't Never getting no top under the stairs, bro. They was like under the stairwell, bro. It was like the way if the stairs was, it was like a stairwell right here, and then it was a wall under the stairs, and you could like you feel me, it was like a little cut right there. Now believe it or not, a lot of niggas used to get some toppy right there in that little corner, bro. But this is the first time I ever knew about I ever heard I got heard about it, but this is the first time I ever knew that it was true type shit. You feel me? I swear to God, bro, this girl. I ain't even, I ain't like, I wish I could say her name without it being bogus, but I ain't gonna do So, I know the girl too, bro. She like, she in the 8th grade class. I know the nigga, I know the, I know the, I know the girl. You feel me? I'm like, bro, this nigga ain't ever getting no sloppy top under the stairs. In the middle of, in the middle of school though, bro. Like, it ain't after school, before school. Like, bro, we in the middle of school. Like, I don't know if there's something wrong with this nigga, but anybody at any time could have walked right past and seen that shit. He would got expelled, arrested, and some more shit. I don't know what he was thinking about. So I'm like, bro, you funny as hell. I look, I turn around, and look at him. I'm like, bro, you funny as hell. He start laughing. Girl get mad. First of all, the girl titties was out, bro. So I'm just like, y'all like two in it, bro. Like y'all like, in the hallway though. Y'all couldn't even go to the bathroom, slime. Y'all in the hallway doing it like this though. So shorty get up, she put her bra over her titties and like zip her jacket up. And she like, you not finna tell nobody. You need to shut up, bro. Cause I know you got a big mouth, mouth. That's my first. She's like, I know you got a big mouth, mouth. Don't go telling nobody. I'm like, all right, man. About me. Ain't about me. Man, I'm such a young nigga, bro. I, I ain't like this no more, but I was a young nigga back then. Like I said, I had a big ass mouth. She knew that, you feel me? Because I knew the girl and the boy. I swear to God, bro, I go back to biology class. I had, I had, uh, I, I think I had my closest homie at the time. It was this nigga named Aria, which is Chip BMG. Y'all go subscribe to him, he on my channel. And, um, my nigga Chris, bro. I ain't gonna say his last name because it was a lot of Chris. So I go into class, I'm like, Chris, bro. Chris, bro. Tell me why, shorty. <laughs> Tell me why. Shorty down, I, I said that name, I'm like, bro, this bitch down there giving, they giving phone numbers some drop talk. You mean? He like, bro, never. So the bell ring, right? I'm like, bro, you gotta come, bro. I swear to God, bro, this shit just happened. He can't believe me, right? So we go back to the music hallway thinking that they not, they, we like, you feel, we just doing shit at this point. We thinking they finna be gone. I swear to God, bro, the bell rang and the shorty was still down there, bro. I'm like, this is, this is ridiculous. 
at this point, like, y'all, y'all can't give zero fuck. Y'all cannot care about human life right now. For y'all to be doing some shit like this. The bell wrong. There's people in the hallway. There's teachers, there's principals, deans. There's people in the hallway. Y'all just now getting up. Y'all, y'all is savage, bro. I, res I respect the savage level, but damn, have some self-respect, bitch. So we get back to the little music hallway. We see folks, we start clowning, bro. We like, damn. We start making a fat ass scene. We start falling out. We dying, laughing on the floor. We on the floor, rolling around the floor like we go, like we lost it, bro. Like, we cracking the fuck up, cause this shit is real life, bro. And the crazy part about it was, bro, everybody in my school was smart. Like you got a test to get in here. Your grades have to be good as hell. You got to test real high on a standardized test, Illinois test, bro. Everybody in here is smart. They, we supposed to be the good kids, and we acting up. Fooling this bitch, like no cap it. Now, now this is where it get crazy at, bro. So the next class, my homie Chris, he walked to his class, bro. Dude, that was just getting some sloppy under the stairs. Me and him had the same class together, and like I said, we was cool. Like we used to always joke around and shit. So right? we go to the classroom. It's on the third floor. We was all the way, all the way on the first floor when I went, like where he was at type shit. We go all the way up to the third floor. I forgot what class that was. We go to the third floor. We sit down. It's like the first time I've been in class on time and shit, right? I'm like, I'm clowning with this nigga. Ten minutes go by. The dean, he walked in the door. Now, anytime the Dean walk in. Sometimes it might be security. If your mama downstairs, you got an early dismissal, you feel me? Sometimes it might be another teacher if, like, they need you with your help with something or some shit. If the Dean, the Dean, bro, shout out my nigga Dean Williams. He was a cool nigga. But if the Dean walk in your classroom and ask for you, you in trouble. Bro. So the Dean walked in the class and asked for him. He was like, I need him to come right now to my office, right now. Bro. I peep out the door. I see Shorty that was just giving head standing right there. I'm like, bro, you funny as Oh, bro. So he ended up leaving. I don't know what happened, bro. But he hit, he hit me on Twitter like a couple days later. He tweeted at me. He added me. He like, bro, what's your number? I gave him my number. He texted me. He like, bro, tell me why you feel me. I got suspended. Boop, boop, this, that, and third. They call my mama. Call her mama. We got a parent teacher conference. When we get back, such and such, boom, this shit crazy. I'm like, gee, never. He like, bro, I don't get no fuck. I ain't like that school. No way. You feel me? I try to get transferred. I'm like, bro, y'all niggas is hilarious. That wraps up today's story time, man. If y'all want more story times like that, let me know in the comments section below smash that thumbs up button too hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel follow your boy on instagram if you aren't already i'm over and out like the auto box Peace. i got no feelings don't care where you from i don't care what you own we get no dealings if you want a problem i be in my zone